TYT Sports locked out here in Culver City, California. Rick Strom with you. Lionel Messi created all these headlines, maybe even overshadowing Manny Pacquiao from this past weekend. Why exactly? Because he was trying to chase the coveted record that Gerd Mueller of West Germany and Bayern Munich achieved of 85 goals scored in 1972. He went into this game against Real Betis needing one goal to tie the record. Let's take a look at those goals very quickly. Now, if you look here in the 16th minute, Iniesta de Messi made a move to his left, bluffed the shot, took what the defense gave him, and slotted a low shot into the far corner. That would be the tying goal for the record. Now we move ahead just nine minutes later. Look at this. Everyone pushing forward. Adriano would start the break, finds Messi, who provides a short pass to Iniesta, a cute little back heel back to Messi, and scores once again to the far coast. Far, not the far coast, the far post. I can speak English. That's your record breaker right there. Now, a lot of people are, were dogging Lionel Messi when we put up a video that I'll put as a video response when he suffered the injury against SL Benfica in the Champions League. And many people were saying, uh, regardless that it wasn't a game that he probably should have been playing in, that's another argument for another day. It's the fact that a lot of people were saying, I don't want him to break the record, a la Cristiano, fuck Lionel Messi. But my personal feeling is, why not applaud him and why not want him to break the record? Out of anything, you're witnessing great history. The record hasn't been broken for over 30 years. Uh, yeah, 30 years. I can still do math. Well over 30 years. Records are meant to be broken, but if it takes more than 30 years for it to happen, consider it a privilege that we got to watch it. Now, there are a few amazing stats from this as we look into Lionel Messi's great run from 2012. He had 74 goals for Barcelona, 12 goals for Argentina. He was averaging one goal per 4.24 days a year. Absolutely incredible. And he also has 29 assists. He is La Liga's top scorer with 20, 23 ahead of Falcao, who had five goals over the weekend. Via the Guardian, this is really interesting. 56 goals in 36 league games, three in seven in the cup, two in two in the Supercopa, 13 and 12 in the Champions League, and 12 and 9 for Argentina. He already has 23 league goals this season, enough to have won the Pachichi Award 26 times. Incredible stuff. Gerd Mueller, by the way, in 1972 is when he held the record for the 85 goals in one year. He scored. 72 for Bayern Munich and 13 for West Germany. He was 27 years old at the time of breaking this record. He didn't win the Ballon d'Or, by the way. It, it, it would be inconceivable that Lionel Messi does not win that. And Lionel Messi, 25 years old when he broke the record. 24 when he became Barcelona's all-time leading goal scorer. How can you not applaud this guy and just root for him? I understand why many of you can't. If you're Real Madrid fans, if you're big La Liga fans, but just hear me out. Another fun fact about Gerd Mueller, he would have signed for Barcelona in 1973 if the German government did not intervene. Pretty interesting stuff right there. As we look at the upcoming matches, there are three left. The Copa del Rey round of 16 match at Cordoba, December 12th. Two matches in La Liga, the first against Falcao and Atletico Madrid at the new Camp. Now. Can he win FIFA World Player of the Year? How can you not give it to Lionel Messi? Because at 24 years old, as I stated previously, he became Barcelona's all-time leading goal scorer, I believe with 232. That's right. So uh, FIFA Player of the Year award, along with many others. He already won La Liga Player of the Year. There should be more to come. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Follow us on Twitter and subscribe to TYT Sports.